Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own custom transition preset in DaVinci Resolve. This is gonna allow you to edit any of your transitions so that if you wanna make any edits to your transition settings, you can easily save them so you can use them whenever you want. So here I have a transition from Motion VFX, and you can see that currently it's going towards the left, and that's from the M Review Set Transition 3. Now if we go to any of the settings here, we can change to flip the direction, turn on or turn off directional blur, change the blur length. This one doesn't have a lot of settings that you can change, but by default, this transition pushes to the left in this pack. All right, so now we've made our adjustments. We like that, and now we wanna save that. All you have to do is select that transition, right click it, scroll down to create transition preset, and you can rename it whatever you want, though I'm gonna keep it with the same name except changing preset to push right. Press okay. So now if we delete that, and we wanna find it here on the left in your toolbox, scroll up to the top right here where it says video transitions, click on that, and then you're gonna scroll down a bit past the native DaVinci presets, and then you'll see user. Any transition presets you've made, whether they're with DaVinci Resolve transitions or third-party transitions, will be here under user. So I've deleted the transition here from the timeline, if we just grab that here, drag that in, you can see that we have our transition with the exact parameters that we adjusted earlier. Let's do one more, taking that transition here, select that, and this is another transition from Motion VFX from M Transition Film Roll Acid Washout Stains. Let's make some changes there. We'll change the color. All right, so let's say we make this transition a little bit more erratic. Right click on it after making the changes. Say I want this one a little bit longer. Right click, create transition preset. I'm gonna rename this to Super Shake. Delete it from the timeline, then go down to User. And if I go drop it in, you'll see this one is longer because I did save the preset with the new duration, which is 2.5 seconds. So not only do transition presets save all the changes on the settings, but also the duration you choose. So let's say whatever you saved it at, you want your transition longer or shorter. All you have to do is manually extend it or retract it. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. We also have a DaVinci Resolve playlist with a lot more tutorials on this channel. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.